Well, today I had the chance to speak with Carrie Holden, who runs the Boys and Girls Club of South Puget Sound. She described Ortiz as a valuable member, and his impact on the community will not be forgotten. The crash occurred Thursday night, just before midnight, along State Route 18, near 312th Way. State Patrol troopers say the driver who caused the collision is a 38-year-old man from Bellevue. Investigators suspect that the driver was under the influence of drugs or alcohol and was going the wrong way before striking Ortiz's vehicle head-on. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Our hearts go out to Carl's entire family, his circle of friends. Um, it's an incredible loss for the community to not have Carl with us any longer. Perry Holden, who runs the Boys and Girls Club of South Puget Sound, says Ortiz worked for the organization for five years, from 2013 to 2018. He also used to be a member and was once voted Youth of the Year in the Cheney Family Branch. He, of course, as a club member, got a chance to benefit from club programs. And once he became a staff member, he then was very, Carl was very committed to developing future leaders within the Boys and Girls Club and beyond. Holden says Ortiz had a talent for connecting with the children he worked with and bring out the best in them. And his absence in the community will be felt for some time. He gave so much, not just to our Boys and Girls Club family, but well beyond the club walls. And I can only imagine the impact and the ripple effect that will be felt for decades to come. Now, the Washington State Patrol says the driver who caused the collision is currently receiving treatment at Harborview. But once he's released, he'll be booked into the King County Jail for investigation of vehicular homicide. Live in Gig Harbor, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.